Today, we all have an overabundance of online accounts for everything from banking to food delivery. In an effort to keep all of this account information straight, a lot of users practice poor password protocol. With us today is Eric Bierendorf, CEO of Evernet, an IT and cybersecurity consulting firm in Hartford. And want to tell us a little bit more about what we need to do. It seems like every thing has a different requirement for your password. Eight characters, one number, one capitalized, two characters, two numbers. How do we keep them all straight and you know, right. what are some tips on how we can do it safely? One of the one of the tips that I say is use a password generator. That's the best thing that you can do to make sure your passwords are unique, which is tip number one. Make sure you have a unique password for every single account, and I know that that, that comes with a big eye roll from the world, but... Um, how are we gonna remember that? How, so tip number two, <laughs> use a password manager. <laughs> or a process that helps you manage a password, mm -hmm. whether it's a, a, a notebook you keep next to your computer, um, or uh, there are apps that are called password managers that will you can install on all your mobile devices and on your computers that will try to follow you around and help you enter in the passwords and remember those passwords for you. Mm -hmm. Other than using a password generator, if you do, if you are sort of set on using a password that somehow correlates to your life, right. what would be the best way to do it? Don't do it. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Period. Don't think back to the first house that you ever lived in and no, use the street. No, I mean, look, how much information can be gleaned on an individual just with a simple internet search? I mean, we can find out where people grew up, what school they went to, uh, names of uh, wives, spouses, kids. It's all it's all out there. So, mm -hmm. a password generator really helps you uh, eliminate the uh, patterns that may exist in your password that you may think you're really clever. Sure. But you know, when, when the hackers take a few databases of username and passwords from Target, from Experian, and they say, oh, "Okay, this guy's email address," he's uh, we see a little bit of pattern, and they are using the a little. Correlation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, and of course, people think they're really uh, slick in using password for their password no. as well. Yeah, don't use uh, six ones in a row. Don't use QWERTY. Uh, don't use, use password. password. Don't use your birthday. Right. Don't use your mother's maiden name. Right, right? exactly. All right, well, we're going to switch gears just a bit because we were talking about this earlier this morning. You know, everybody thinks this, it seems like these days your phone is spying on you. Like, say yes. you're, you're talking with your spouse or with your kids about going on vacation in Florida. All of a sudden, you're scrolling through Facebook and Instagram and all you're seeing is ads for hotels, right. restaurants, amusement parks right. in Florida right so what do you do uh, so your phone is definitely spying on yeah. you it has been it's creepy yeah it's very creepy uh, it has been spying on you since day one and um, you know the, the smartphones now have there's three layers you know uh, before it was just AT&T was was the only uh, platform with the phones and they were spying on you and things of that nature but now you know you've got the apps and your apps can now spy on you. So, do we know which apps are spying more than others? Unfortunately, no, uh, because the app developer can can really kind of uh, spy on you. And if that app developer is kind of unscrupulous, uh -huh. they may not disclose that to you. So, so what the best, else can we do? The only thing that you can do is um, use apps that you trust. Uh -huh. uh, hold those vendors and companies accountable. Um, you know, respond on Twitter. Respond with the feedback um, when the news cycle picks up that Facebook uh, did another thing to violate your privacy yeah. react to that and um, vote with your dollars you know and and you know give that pushback and certainly um, use if you're not using any apps on your phone you know eliminate eliminate the ones that you're not using um, leaving that one-off obscure app on your phone that that little guy could be listening to you uh, monitoring you without you telling you. All right, well, a lot to take in and a lot to remember as we move forward and keeping our privacy safe. Good luck. All right, thanks so much, appreciate it. <laughs> thanks for having it. me.